If you would like to modify a style sheet you've been using with Mendeley Desktop, from the main menu, select View, then select Citation Style, and from the Citation Style menu, select More Styles. Once you find the citation style that you want to modify, you right-click and then select Edit Style from the pop-up menu. If you haven't edited a style before, it will come up with a message that asks permission to use this website. I've used it before. In fact, I've already modified this style, so it asks me if I want to open my existing style that I modified or to create a new one. I'm just going to select OK and open the existing style. And there are several things that are listed. If you have problems with the inline citations or the in-text citations, you would select the items under that. I'm going to go ahead and look at some of the macros. There's one for author, then it also has some for editors, titles, etc. So let's open the one for author. We're going to look at names. So first, to look at the name, we see that the comma is used for a delimiter or what's going to appear between the authors. And then there's several other text boxes you can use. Also, sometimes you don't have an author. That's where the substitute section comes in. And I'm going to go ahead and select names. And the first name that could be a substitute is it has editor. That happens a lot with books. That makes sense. And another name could be a translator. Also, sometimes you have conditional. So I'm going to open title to show you a conditional one. For instance, it's if it's a bill or a graphic or a legal case, they have several things here then you use the title. and It asks what kind of case you want. This could be title or it could be sentence case or it could be lowercase, uppercase. If you have a book, then your title, you're going to still use a long form of the title, but it's going to be in italic and it's going to be title case. This doesn't show you how to do absolutely everything in here, but it gives you an idea of what's in here. And then when you're finished, you can select style and you can save style and it'll ask you if you want to send it to Mendeley Desktop. And when you select Save, then it saves it to your local copy of Mendeley.